why is this happening to me? Why is this fucking happening to me? The SG forms? I feel somewhat abandoned. Abandoned, damn it, I feel fucking abandoned! If only there was someone on YouTube who has the RPing skills. If only, if only there was someone who, who I can teach how to use me and Kenny Patterson's characters well. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm just having an ultimate meltdown. This is worse than last week's. Sonic, if you're there, then show me the way. Is there anyone in YouTube who can handle me and Kenny's characters during the SG specials? Okay, this was the other video somebody sent me. Uh, this is this looks like a I, I don't know how they found it. Seven hundred views. It's time to uh, the time to strike is now. I just like the title and the fact I can see hedgehogs. So let's uh, take a look. You are watching the Danny the Panda channel on YouTube. If you choose to be nice or mean, you need to remember this. If you are nice and want to check out my videos, then be sure to comment positively and subscribe. If you are mean and nasty, however. Don't bother coming to my channel, ever. Thank you. Don't you, that'll work. Nothing gets those trolls to fuck off like saying, hey, hey now, just don't. Just don't. Too much hatred has been caused in my channel for too long. We must fight back. You know what? Subscribe. People are supporting our guy here. <laughs> You're an adult, it's time to act like an adult. Oh, sweet sword, Danny. Anyone who hates you is a fucking idiot who deserves to be sliced by your blade. That's what we want to tell them. <laughs> really get those delusions going full straight. Enjoy the video. Hello, YouTubers. Danny here. You know something? I haven't made any videos in a while, so I'm only going to say this once. The hatred has been increasing in numbers for three years in my channel now. The haters on YouTube are on the verge of flooding with hate comments. Oh, come on, Chad. Haters, rise up. <laughs> haters, rise up. Don't let Danny intimidate you with his katana. Those of you who are my friends, listen to this. We have been kept sleeping with the, within our own clouds for far too long. We must wake up. We must fight back. <laughs> Sephiroth, no, what are you doing? That's where it ends? You can't just cock tease me like that with your toy plastic katana. Okay. All right, uh, we're going to have to investigate this a little bit. Daniel Moore, let me see what you're doing on the internet. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I, okay, we're going to put this back on screen. Okay. This is his YouTube channel. Let's just take a look at what we're looking at. What are we dealing with here? Well, you've got uh, you got Tails, and you got Sonic, and you got Knuckles that look like they're from some alternative universe where nightmares are real. And then, of course, I'm going to guess this is Daniel. This is Daniel's own. And it links to Sonic Galaxy and Newgrounds. I'm sure he's made Newgrounds Flash animations. Oh, a Danny XX39 live stream fun time. Do you guys want to have a fun time? I don't know. Chat, can you be good? Remember, he doesn't want no haters on his fucking channel. There's some original artwork all over this. This is somebody that should have been in a Deviance episode. <laughs> Look at all the videos! They've all got 13 views. He's making, like, you know, anywhere from 5 to 30 minute videos that are getting 20 views apiece, and he's been doing it for years! Alright, now I want you all to behave. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I'm torn. Do we want to watch the fun live stream? Or do we want to watch the heartbreaking video entitled No Longer a Sonic Fan? 
You tell me, chat. Which are we doing first? The fun live stream? Or I have to leave the Sonic fandom. I'm no longer a Sonic fan. Please do not steal OC content. Yes, that is true. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of... Yeah, that's the one that caught my eye. It's the shortest one of the two, so... <laughs> the music choice is perfect! Oh, he's not even gonna... He's not even gonna narrate it. I'll narrate it. Well, it's official. I'm no longer a Sonic fan. I blame Aaron Weber, Sega, and the entire Sonic team for all the things they did to me and my childhood. Which is why I should have never started to like this franchise in the 90s. I knew what would happen. So I curse this day. I'm sorry. But he killed my childhood. And doomed the entire franchise to hell. I'm sure most of you feel the same way. Because I am absolutely 100% not a fan of Son... <laughs> Sonomy? Is that, is that like a... That's a Hulak thing, right? Sonic and Amy, I'm guessing. So yeah, I'm moving on to Super Mario related things now. You fucked up, Sega. You fucked up. Our boy Danny here, you fucked up, man. He's going over to Nintendo. He's going to be a Bing Bing Wahooer now. You had to force it. You had to make Sonic and Amy a thing. Well, you lost it, buddy. This fan's walking away from 30 years of fandom. He's, he's moving on to greener pastures. Sometimes it's best to move on to other things. <laughs> Comments. <laughs> oh, he was Sonic fans. Oh, uh, it's. I don't know if this is. <laughs> this can't be. Said, no, they're very upset. Is there more text? Let me. Is it just this still image? <laughs> Somebody sodomy. That's what he's upset about. I'm not a fan of sodomy. Sonic, what are you what are you doing? Oh. New characters. Hero Legends, what oh god, there's so many things we could watch. Shadow the Echo Fighting Ultimate Life Form. Oh, we've got to be careful. We need and I need to be. We're gonna okay, we're gonna take we're gonna take a second to look. Sonic Galaxy's not going to die. Oh, he's so lazy. He won't even go on camera. I guess the Katana video really fucked him up. Oh, you know what? Uh, what am I doing? I need to do this in reverse. He got scared away from doing videos live, so... The best way to find... Uh, let's see, that's how you do it. Eight years. <laughs> An introduction from the creator... Oh, he's the creator! From the creator of Sonic Galaxy. Okay, let's take a look. Here we go. Hello everyone. For those of you who do not know me, I am the creator of the Sonic Galaxy. Going by the Sorry, volume is really low. Let me let me try upping that a little bit. Let's go. Here we go. Hello everyone. For those of you who do not know me, I am the creator of the Sonic Galaxy. Going by the name of Danny. But in real life, people call me Daniel. I enjoy playing video games, such as the Nintendo Wii. And... I like, uh, I love it. I love how people like this always tag in the fandom that's going to make that fandom look worse. The first thing he says is, I'm a big fan of video games, especially, especially the Nintendo Wii. <laughs> the Nintendo fanboys can't catch a break. Because you got fucking guys like this that just latch on. And yes, that is, I believe that is a Naruto poster in the background. Which I keep away safe hidden inside the drawers down the basement, surfing on the internet, watching anime videos on YouTube, and collecting Japanese toys. There are some things that I dislike though. There's licorice, country music, the sun any relationship. Whatever you do, chat, do not go to this guy's videos and talk about how much you fucking love licorice and country music. Cause he doesn't like it. Okay, that's where he draws the line. Don't tell him. The Nintendo is coming out with their own brand of licorice promoted by country singers. You'll drive him insane. Which I hate the most. And since I'm an anti sonami kind of person, I just wish Sonic could kill me with a bazooka or something. You name it. No one is Sonic. I'll protect you from that evil pink abomination. Wanna know about my characters? 
one of my first characters that I've ever created is indeed Danny the Panda. And there's a Jake the Hedgehog. I'm fairly certain he just said Danny the Panda. Panda Hedgehog, the ring spiky haired Musuko, his redhead sister Musume, adopted white dragon daughter Chris Tashi. Anyway, that's all you have to know about me. So, if you want to check out Solid Galaxy, then click on the link located in my YouTube profile. Bye, everyone. I don't know, chat. Do we want to look at Sonic Galaxy? Note, I just used the Nikon Coolpix to record it. I, I think he links to it. Is this... <laughs> it's... <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Please still be open. Please still be open. Please still exist. <laughs> oh, no! Danny, no! What are we... What is this, Danny? Why are... Why are there hedgehogs having sex in your banner? Oh, you guys, come on. He put so much work into Sonic Galaxy. I think he needs no he needs new members on his fucking uh forum here. Yes, he does. He's only got 33 members. We need to we need to increase that. We need to start threads talking about how much Sonic the Hedgehog loves licorice and how Sonic the Hedgehog should make a country music album. <laughs> Is he the only one posting? Oh god. Where do we go first? Oh, there's so much to choose from. Of course, you have to start in Sonic. List of real life Amy haters. Oh, somebody's getting called out. Let's uh, let's take a look. This is from August twenty uh, second, twenty fourteen. This is Danny. He's an advanced member, of course. Do you ever wonder why I hate that pink hedgehog? Well, I just do. Which is why I've decided to create a topic involving that pathetic excuse for a female character in Sonic history. Yeah, we all know she's easy to anger. But this whole chasing the after Sonic thing? God, no. Absolutely not my cup of tea at all. There's been so many people on various Sonic websites who like this Son Amy crap. But not here in Sonic Galaxy. Because I feel that she should just die. <laughs> This is my reason. For those of you who don't like Amy Rose at all, then guess what? Let's let me and Kai list your names down, whether or not you are an Amy hater, because she is disgusting. And just remember that there is love and there is hatred. Here is a list of Amy haters in real life that Kai and I are currently creating. The list is constantly being updated. Consoles and handheld consoles are accepted as well. As long as you are an Amy hater. Oh, why is it broken? Let me let me try fixing this. The no script sometimes. Fun. I don't know what this was, but I bet it was great. Oh, and then there's nothing. Here's Kai, another advanced member. Well, the reboot of Amy Rose isn't so bad. She's not like some type of magnet trying to attach to Sonic. Sega did a lot of changes in the rebooted series. Oh, well. It's just modern Amy I despise the most. Ugh. Makes me want to scream my head off until it explodes. I swear if Sega makes another E10 plus Sonic game, it'll be the end for me. That's not what the children want. That's not what the children want. Dude, you're like 30 years old. That's not what the children want. Danny, your childhood is over. You are not a child anymore. You don't know what the children want. You are 30 years old and you run a web forum called Sonic Galaxy 3. Jesus Christ. Uh, where do we go, chat? You tell me. What sub forum are we going to explore? Are you afraid? Sonic Runners. Okay, these look all... These look all average. World of Warcraft, of course. Why wouldn't that be there? Let's look for the social. Other stories. Other stories by Danny only. These are stories that involve Danny the Panda. It is made fan fiction style. No fight against bad guys or anything like that. <laughs> a pilot episode. Okay, Mr. TV. Exclusive interview. Friends without boundaries. Eternal friendships. Well, you know, we need to start at the beginning, I think. Oh, my God. All right. This is a pilot episode. Pilot episode of uh, his original Do Not Steal OC content. Uh, so, yeah, this was sent in via Super Chat by somebody. It said you need to take a look at a video. 
autistic man wielding a katana talking about the haters. That man's name is Daniel Moore. We've discovered that Daniel Moore runs the uh, well-known, well-established Sonic Galaxy 3 website, of course. <laughs> and uh, we're going to read his pilot episode about Danny the Panda. Because why wouldn't we do that? So let's uh, let's jump in. Let's jump in. The pilot episode, this is from November 16th, 2016. I'll make sure that's working. Okay, good. The camera shows us a view of the Sonic Galaxy Animation Studio HQ for four seconds. The camera cuts to the inside of it where Daniel Paul Moore is seen. Sleeping after two seconds, he wakes up. Of course, Danny only needs two seconds of sleep. He's superhuman. Uh, this is, uh, I, I, well, I guess I'll read the names when they switch, but... Daniel Paul Moore. Whoa. Um, what happened here? Gets off the couch. Why am I wearing an outfit that looks like a hybrid of Mass Effect and Destiny? The camera zooms out to show that Danny actually is wearing that outfit, but without the helmet, as shown in the picture. What the hell? Why am I wearing such a badass outfit like this? Kenneth Patsfield? Off camera. You okay there, man? Daniel. Oh, man. Something's up. Can someone please tell me what's going on? Kenneth Patsfield comes in. Kenneth. Whoa. What happened to you? Why the outfit? Daniel. Kenny. Do you have any idea who ordered the custom-made outfit for me to try on? I don't remember any kind of props like that. Kenneth. I have no idea either. In fact, I didn't order anything like that off of eBay or Amazon. Short pause. You look like Master Chief from the Halo franchise. But why the cape? <laughs> okay, sorry. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> sorry, just a fucking minute. <clears throat> I'm just visualizing... Somebody in Spartan armor, a fat guy in Spartan armor with a fucking superhero cape. All right. Daniel, I don't know either. Soon, after two seconds. Deadpool? <laughs> okay, why not? Deadpool. Actually, let me explain. I'm actually the one who made Danny try it on. I also created a new show I've been cooking up for both of you. Daniel, what are you talking about, Deadpool? Deadpool? Can't you see that I'm the one who made the three series, even though I actually made the one with Kenny's? Deadpool. Hold that thought, pal. I made some weapon props for you to try out, you see. Hand cannons, beam knives, beam knives. You'll love them. All of a sudden, a hand cannon appears out of nowhere, and Daniel Paul Moore catches it. Kenneth. A hand cannon? For reals? Deadpool. Yeah. I had to come up with the best design I've ever created. Go ahead, Daniel. Give it a whirl. <laughs> Daniel, why in God's name is Deadpool doing this? I mean, hey, it's not like I... Pulls the trigger unexpectedly, blowing a hole through the wall of the Sonic Galaxy Animation Studio, causing Kenny and Deadpool to cover their ears. Whoa! Deadpool. Oh yeah, now that's a cool gun right there. You should totally work on the show with me to pay tribute to your friend from New Hampshire. Kenneth. Wait, what now? Pay tribute. I'm only in my 20s, Deadpool. <laughs> Daniel. No. No. No! The camera flashes white for a second. Then Daniel shows Daniel waking up. Daniel. Oh. Oh, oh, thank God. Zooms out. Actually showing Danny wearing an all-black and light blue outfit with a helmet. Like in the picture. It was all... A dream. Thank God that the Sonic Galaxy Forum are still secure. Kenneth. Off camera. Of course. Your Sonic Galaxy Forums are secure and well, Danny. Comes in. This time wearing an outfit and helmet based on the Destiny Titan outfit. With some of his hair showing on the back of his head. Being worn by a helmet. It's all gold and deep silver. Check this out. You like my outfit, man? Daniel. Kenny. You too? Kenneth, let's face it, we're stars of Deadpool's upcoming new show now, so accept it. We're doing it. Daniel Moore. Oh, God. God! Accidentally triggers one of his Excel powers. The Excel jump. Up and off the screen. Volume decreases. Whoa!
Deadpool off camera. See you in 2017 for my Worlds Together story. The camera cuts to a splash logo of the Danny and Kenny show with the words coming soon to Sonic Galaxy. Oh, that's a like, chat. That's click that like button. Pound that like button. This man needs to create his art. Coming soon. We're in 2019. I hope it came. Just accept it, Danny. Don't fight me, Danny. Put the costume on. <laughs> wow. I'm interested. I don't know if this is a... This might be an interview about his amazing new upcoming show. Let's find out. Oh, coming, <laughs> coming soon. Um, <laughs> 2013. He was working on this for a while, wasn't he? So it took him a whole three years to come up with that pilot episode, but it was worth the wait. Eternal Friendships. It's another story we've got up. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. Part two coming soon. Never came. I believe this is the first story our, our young author ever worked on. From September 11th, 2012. Good day to remember the date. Write some uh, fan fiction on your Sonic forum. Disclaimer. I do not own Sonic the Hedgehog. Sega and Sonic Team do. In case you got confused, guys, he doesn't. Plus, Danny Lansfield is my character. Part 1. 10 a.m. Ebonhawk. Danny is seen staring at the window in the cockpit, standing on his own two feet. Hi. My name is Danny Lansfield. Ever since we stopped our latest threat two months ago, as well as save the future of Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything was just quiet. So many things have been going on in my head. It must have been so nice to try out the new experience. But now, there's something that's been going on in my head. Something about what it's like to have an eternal friendship with someone. Someone who is important to you. Someone who is forever inseparable. As I look out in the stars in outer space, ever since the day I've said goodbye to all my friends, nothing was the same. Is having an eternal friendship with someone so important that it means something? All I know is that I'm about to find out right now. What a day, I said while walking. All I can remember is all the good times that my friends and I had been through as I strolled down on my way to the main hold on the Ebony Hawk. While slowly walking, I, Danny Lansfield, could remember all the things that we had done. Becoming werebeasts, saving aliens from mad scientists, fixing my friend's timeline. Traveling in storybooks. Participating in the Olympics with a plumber and his teammates. Pretty much everything going on in my mind. <clears throat> All I can wonder is what it's like to set foot on Earth. My friends and I are both happy to have fulfilled that wish after the crawler had been slain. Talk about having a fun at tournament. And stopping the bio-duelist threat. We did so much in the past two months. You've been quiet for a, quite a while, a familiar voice behind me said. As I turned around to see him, the one who was behind me was a hedgehog. He was all blue, with red streaks on his arms, quills, and legs. He even had a total of 20 quills on his head. Most of you may have known him as Blue Hedgehog with six quills. But to me, he was different. Now in present time. Oh, hey, Sonic. What brings you here, I asked. You must have been thinking about what Tyrell told us. I take it. No. No, it's not that. It's just... A lot has been going on in my mind lately. Like what? Sonic asked me. Well, um... Remember when you and I defeated Amy and the other two? <laughs> remember when you and Amy... Uh, remember when you and I defeated Amy and the other two? You used Neo Galaxy Eye Photon Dragon to enter. Cream and Courtney. Yeah. And I used my chaos control powers to send them into their own dungeons at the undergrounds of Whitney Elementary School in prison, Sonic replied. So I have a feeling that these three girls won't be causing any more problems to the both of us. Today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. Sonic's getting a little dark here. Yeah, and we became the new champions of the tournament after putting an end to the plans of a mad scientist in his legal bio-dueling games. Sonic and I laughed. <laughs> I'm sure whatever the three bad girls are doing in prison, I'm sure they'll rot there forever. Somehow I get the feeling that we're safe. Forevermore? Yeah, Sonic. You are safe from the pink nightmare for good. Your nightmare is over. 
I'm so relieved. What do you say we talk about something? Like what it's like to have an eternal friendship with someone. Hmm? I'm wanting to know what it's like to have an eternal friendship with someone. <laughs> you mean like forever inseparable bracelets? What do you mean, Sonic asked. Well, Sonic, old buddy, have you ever wondered what it's like if you were to lose a friend? I asked him. I would be sad. It's one of the things that I can't stand. You told me that losing a good friend is a pain that we can or we cannot bear. Yeah, well, I... So much has been going on in my head lately. As well, like our adventure that's going to happen for the two of us. And trust me, Di <laughs> Diablo is something that you and I could understand. Yeah, but if I were to lose a friend, I would be really upset. Sonic, you're my friend. We both are the... We both under... <laughs> This is so autistic. Holy shit. <clears throat> We've both overcome our odds together. Do you know how hard we had to work through it to become champions in a Yu-Gi-Oh tournament? Oh. You mean like teams VX and Z that we had to duel against? Yeah. That was something all right, Sonic replied to me. Well, that's not the point. There were six of these duelists that we had to free from the mad scientist control. These three bio-duelists were a bad influence to everyone. I know what you mean, buddy. But at least every other duelist, they're both young and old, are safe. Yeah, and they praised us like heroes. We even won some people over. They praised us like most of the people in the past did. Back when we were alive. Well, I'm sure that whatever these six formerly possessed duelists are, I'm sure they're safe on Earth. And by the way, by the way, we heard from VX and Z. After we defeated them, they are immortal beings, which means they can't die. So I have a feeling that they will be back from the depths of hell before you even know it. I'm not saying the Shadow Realm. I'm just saying that VX and Z and the other guys with lust for power. But now they're gone. You and I feel much better. And that mad scientist, he's in prison for a long time. So that makes us even safer. And that's just what we wanted, a safe life. I understand, Sonic, I replied back. So, just remember, Danny, I'll always be here for you, as a friend, no matter what happens. The two of us are forever inseparable friends. Always, I answered back to him. <laughs> oh, that's some deep fucking lore. That is some deep fucking lore, Danny. Where's part two, Danny? Part two coming soon. Danny! It's been seven years. Where's part two? <laughs> they're, they're inseparable forever friends. They're both dead and they fight bio-duelists. And Diablo and Deadpool makes cartoon shows for them. <laughs> I, need, I need part two, Danny. You can't cock-tease me like this. Oh, that is some good shit. Oh, there's more stories. Oh, how much do... Oh, my God. Crossover stories. Holy shit. 103 topics. Chapter 40 by Danny. Oh. Modern... Oh, my God. This is too many stories. It's a story bonanza. It's a story bonanza. Danny's not leaving us hanging. Those were only Danny stories about Danny the Panda, but we've got 103 other stories by Danny. Oh, it's... Open the chat room. Open the chat room. Let me take a look at the chat room. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, fuck. This is not just the guy that writes Sonic fanfics. <laughs> Adolf Hitler. Okay. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, he's going to be so confused. He's going to be so fucking confused. <laughs> people talking about Hitler and Trump. Danny's not, Danny's not going to know what the fuck is happening. What is going on? Who are these people? Oh. Holy shit. Oh, that is good stuff. Oh, that was that was well done. I'm curious what Danny's reaction. You know, let's 
we'll go back to the stories. There, oh, there's so many stories. We will take a look at the stories, but let's look at some more oh, just amazing videos. Just to get, just let's soak in the man himself. Hey guys, you were wanting to know about Project Selena, right? Well, she is an evil replica of Jillian Nonsense, created by her father, Richard. So I was thinking to myself, hey, watch you watch. God, he, he reads off his script, but he talks so softly, it's really hard to pick up on it. I'm about to tell you everything. Now, first off, Selena possesses some brute physiology in her, and I'm not trying to rip off Cell from Dragon Ball Z or anything, it's just... We all know that Kratos enjoys cleaning bloodshed and stuff, taking weapons and stuff. Her first victim will be Musume's adopted daughter, oh, Tashi. Oh my God, he's doing that autism, uh, that autism rock. You know when uh, Destiny spurs out on his streams how he rocks back and forth because the autism hits him? That's what he's doing right now. He's doing the autism rock. <laughs> oh, Danny. Okay, all right. Let's let's try to find one. Oh, all about Sonic. Beware, beware of angry gamers. Oh my God, gamers rise up. Gamers rise up. Danny's to lead us. Hello again, people of YouTube. This is Danny speaking. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the angry gamer ooh, who calls himself the irate gamer. Yikes! I've been watching videos involving breakfast rants, movie reviews, comic reviews, multiple video game reviews and stuff, and let me tell you... He just found the irate gamer in the... the oh, oh, this is 2010. This is hot topical at the time. Chris and Scotty Road Trip show as well. Now, as I've watched these videos, something popped into my mind lately. This guy who called himself Chris Boris. Hey, some of you might be wondering that he ripped off the idea from ABGN slash James Rolfe. Or maybe, just maybe, he just got an inspiration from him. Inspirations are inspirations, you know. There's also something that I would like to talk about. These videos contain explicit language, so this means that there are things that occur in the YouTube only show. Swearing, flipping someone off, when something random happens whenever the IRA gamer speaks too soon. For example, when he says his feet are on fire and stuff, destroys shitty games, and you guessed it, swearing, swearing, and more swearing. Why does the irate gamer have to swear so much? Daniel Moore doesn't like angry gamers. He just wants him and his eternal friend, Sonic the Hedgehog, to live a peaceful life on YouTube, where people don't say naughty things, and those evil Amy haters go eat their licorice in the underground prison that is hell. It's all about Angelina, baby. Is Angelina one of the Sonic characters? Is that the one he's got a boner for? This is Danny speaking. You're probably wondering about who or what Angelia is going to be. Well, how about I talk about the designs and whatnot? Since Amy Rose and Cream are both anthropomorphic animal characters and that they are both female, odds are that it would probably have to be another female Sonic character that's an animal, no matter Angelia's character. I, I'm just gonna say this now. If you have any interest in this guy, you better archive and download everything. Cause I have a feeling after seeing Adolf Hitler show up on his forums, he might get a little scared. Design. I know that some of you guys are going to be offended and such, but if they were to unite with Bruce the Bat, and Jelly would be a slot. Even a much more skankier more than Matsumoto Rangiku from Bleach and Rama Tsunami from Naruto combined. Yikes! Don't get me started on the anime fan service, man. It could be, though, that they could unite with that raccoon girl from Sonic Rush Adventure for the Nintendo DS, Marine, but then again, that could definitely mess up how she speaks. This would have been nice for a four kids tired of voice actor. I can, like, hear his family in the background doing normal morning shit as he sits there and spurgs out about uh, slutty anime girls <laughs> on the family computer. This is probably his parents' bedroom, because it looks... <laughs> I just, I don't know what's going on. Okay. we got to find some, let's see. You're, you, oh, you're going to have to stay a robot forever. Does he browse R9K? Hello, everyone at YouTube. Danny here. This time, we are going to talk about some more stuff about Cyborg Richin. So get ready to hear some stuff from me. Going back into the past, you guys should know that flesh and blood beings turning into cyborgs. Yeah, look at that dead stare. He dead stares it, reads from a script, and he rocks back and forth very slowly. Like he's keeping time, like he's a timepiece. He's always got that left arm down. I don't know what that hand is doing. Probably something unnatural. Unnatural as he thinks about how much he hates Amy Rose. I couldn't really tell you. 
I want to see if he shows off his kick-ass katana. That's, I think, what we're... Bakugan or... Oh, here we go. You spin me right round, baby. Right round. Like a record, baby. Right round, round, round. Spin me right round, baby. Right round like a record, baby. Right round, round, round. You spin me right round, baby. Right round like a record, baby. Right round, round, round. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. I want your love. I want your Oh, you're right, chat. This needs to go on TikTok. Until I fell on the bed, funniest video ever recorded by me. No, 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 no. Holy shit, no, no. Everybody's just shitting on him. This is seven fucking years ago. Just knows nothing but knows. Let's, uh, we're going to listen to this one more time. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. You spin me right round, baby, right round, like a record, baby, right round, round, round. I want your love. I want your love. I want your dark at the end there. Oh. You tell me, Chad. Do you want to be spun around? Yeah, that's a new... That's a new... That's definitely going in the collection. That one I'm holding on to. You can come back to that later on. It was a freaking accident. Oh, let's hear what accident Danny cost. Hello, YouTubers. Danny here. You're probably wanting to know why I accidentally deleted up to 19 of my videos on my YouTube channel. Well, it was an accident. I meant to remove the videos that I've watched in the history section of my profile. So due to my accident, I now have no choice but to redo the four music videos that I made. I just feel so guilty of myself. It was a freaking mistake, okay? I'm redoing the music video, all four of them. I just feel so... I like how he just, he has little mini tantrums. You can see actual emotion breaking through, okay? Guilty of myself. It was a freaking mistake, okay? I'm redoing the music video, all four of them. But anyways, let's talk about something else. Like what's going on in Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Fate of Two Worlds. Yes, you guys. I want to know what his audience at the time thought. <laughs> no, 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 why does this channel exist? Oh no, up to four videos off your YouTube channel page. Tragedy. <laughs> People have been shitting on this dude for seven years. That's fucking amazing. Oh, he really hates Amy Rose. I, I don't know what the reason is. Hello, but... YouTubers. Danny here. And today, we're going to talk about... Oh, brother. Amy Rose and Sonic Colors. Good God. When will this eternal nightmare ever end for Sonic? Anyways, let's just go ahead and get this whole thing underway. Anybody got an AK-47 rifle? <laughs> oh, dude! Oh, gamers, rise the fuck up! Anybody got an AK-47 rifle? As you guys may have known, there was an analysis of the piece by that Sonic Paradise website revealing that Amy Rose is going to make an appearance in the game with her and Tails tied closely to the game's storyline. Good God, Sonic. 
use your wisp powers to strike her down with one blow. That is something I would love to see. Also, from what I've heard, yes, she is going to make an appearance in Sonic Free Riders. Hell, it's too bad that I don't have an Xbox 360, you guys, because if I had that with the Microsoft Connect, I would have full control of Sonic's entire body so that I can get a I want to control Sonic's entire body so I can beat the shit out of Amy Rose in a video game. I need control over his arms so I can strangle that bitch. That pink nightmare. Now they're saying this is a Naruto cosplay he did. I, I think it's talking about this uh, particular person, our, our Danny the Panda Boy. Well, let's take a quick look. Let me load this up. You <laughs> My forum website is dead. Oh, is it him crying about his forum dressed as Naruto? Holy fucking shit. It is. Okay, here we go. You are watching the Danny the Panda channel on YouTube. If you choose to be nice or mean, you need to remember this. If you are nice and want to check out my videos, then be sure to comment positively and subscribe. If you are mean and nasty, however, don't bother coming to my channel, ever. Thank you. Enjoy the video. Hello YouTubers, Danny here. Look, um, I don't know what's going on here, but unfortunately, that forum website... It looks like uh, Naruto used the jelly roll jutsu, because he packed on a few pounds. <laughs> Naruto, what happened? Oh, oh my god. Did, uh, uh, I, I don't even know the name of the fucking characters. I could make a Naruto topical joke here, but let's just stick with he's a fat Naruto that I own, it's dead. Dead as a fucking inanimate skeleton. I just don't understand, damn it. It's been about four months since my friend Kenneth S. Patsfield abandoned the forums and retired from there after his last goodbyes. Hell, and I still needed a new partner who can take his place no matter what, how many times I try. And what's worse, I think I lost my will to play Sonic or Mario video games. My dear fellow YouTubers, I am also sorry to say that my Sonic Galaxy forums went down the drain. I mean, I've been doing nothing but pu putting up news from the CSSC News website. Let's face it, you guys. Fuck life. Holy shit, that's depressing. And it's about to get worse. Guys, we have to join his forum. Our fat little Naruto is at the end of his rope. <laughs> so you're such an asshole. Danny, Sonic and Mario have always been there for you. Please don't quit playing their games. And don't quit making videos. The forum was dead anyway. You should move on and find something more constructive to do with your time. God, that is so heartbreaking. Look at this. It's real emotion. Look how fucked up he is. You guys. Fuck life. It sucks. There's nothing I can do now. You guys need to go over to... What is the fucking name of this guy's website? www.tapatalk.com uh, backslash groups, backslash Sonic Galaxy 3, backslash. And you need to fucking join our Fat Little Naruto's forum, because he is lonely. He is looking for forever friends. He's a fat, lonely little Naruto looking for forever friends. You can't let him down. You need to tell this man that you agree. Amy Rose is a fucking whore, and she needs to be shot out of a goddamn cannon. Oh. Well, this gets more depressing the deeper we go into it. Lots of Let's Plays, of course, riding the trends. <laughs> Let's keep taking a look here. Johnny, uh, okay. The Wrath of Doom Sonic. Ah, ha, ha, oh, this will be good. This should be fucking good. Hello, YouTubers. Danny here. Aside from the fact that Sonic Free Riders have been released today, and that new voices for Sonic and the others can be heard, let's talk about... Oh, 
holy shit, does he look evil. <clears throat> so yeah, the reason why Sonic transforms into his evil, evil form is unknown to me. What I do know is that Doom Sonic is born after Shadow's Black Arm's blood, blowing in Sonic's veins takes time to manifest to form this ultimate warrior of destruction. The ultimate warrior of destruction. Chris Chan, you need to step up your game, all right? Because Sonichu seems bitch-made next to Son uh, Doom Sonic, all right? He ingested the blood of his enemies to manifest his dark wrath. I wonder why. But anyways, yeah. After Sonic betrays and attacks the people of Windia, as well as erasing his own memories of any heroes for good to end this eternal nightmare that he was in, by making a wish from the Eternal Star, of course, Sonic escapes from Windia and falls down to Earth, landing on impact in a forest. <laughs> Talk about a long drop. Even I'm sorry, I have to interrupt this amazing video talking about OC. Somebody's link. What does that say? Did one of you make that, or is that something he actually put up? The mouse pad. <laughs> if you're addicted to my stinky feet. <laughs> oh, God, God. Where's the mouse pad? Where's the fucking mouse pad? Where is it? It's in here somewhere. <laughs> if it's linking somewhere, where is it linking? Oh, how many fucking subforums does he have? Oh, there's an introduction, music. God, this is a very big fucking thing, isn't it? Oh, no, that's that's I think that's a different thing altogether. That's you're, okay. You're getting my hopes up. I thought that was I thought that was on his forum. People saying, "Look at the chat room again." Okay, let's take a look at the chat room again. <laughs> Amy X Sonic love forever. <laughs> Kai doesn't seem like a massive tard from what he's saying. Kai just wanted out. Kai sounds like Danny's mother. Holy shit! If you check out Kai, they made two hundred ninety-two posts here. And only made up 9.26% of the posts. The rest are all Danny. What is this? Sonic, uh, okay, this is one we can take a look at. I told you, oh, 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 there's a fight going on, guys. Heartbreak City's around the corner. Buckle up. February 14th. Is this Valentine's Day? <laughs> oh, God, this is going to be brutal. I told you already, Danny. It's from Kai. I do not hate you. The reason I haven't been answering your messages is because they are not appearing on my YouTube channel. They're appearing on Google channel, which is something I do not have access to. If you want me to respond properly to your messages, you need to leave your message on YouTube, not Google. And from Danny. Aww. Well, at least you did see my 61st Nightcore video and my new logo with Final Dawn fake, Sonic Boom Tails, and Sonic Boom Knuckles, right? Yes, I saw them, Danny. Now, from now on, if you want to talk to me about my YouTube uploads, go to my YouTube website. Leave your messages there. Not on my Google channel, okay? Sounds good to me. I'll try my best. And uh, anyways, um, if it makes you feel better, I was working on SG Zero Story on my own, entitled Quest for the Chaos Gems. Fine with me. Now then, I'm heading out. All right. Good night. Glad that's taken care of. Stay tuned for more SG Zero fun. Danny, you're not listening to me. You're sending your messages through the Google box. You have to send them on the YouTube website on the discussion board of my channel. Otherwise, I will never respond to you. Oh, sorry about that. I'll find a way. I'll try to find a way. Edit. Okay, this time I got it. Did I get it? If I did something wrong this time, please let me know, my forever friend. <laughs> oh, this is a fucking gold mine. Oh. Oh, Danny, your forever friend, Kai. What's going on, buddy? Seems like some bad things. Some bad. Oh, that's a naughty message. I don't think he appreciates that. That's filthy. Get that out of there. It's a family friendly chat room. What are you doing? Shadow or bust. Holy shit, if you check out... Okay, we already read that one. Uh, there's another... People People are just licking videos in his chat. He's going to be so fucking confused. 
Oh, okay. I'm getting lost in the fucking weeds here. All right. It's a lot to unpack. I am afraid of heights. But yeah, I'm also thinking that Danny choosing to go solo to save his longtime blue spiky headed friend. I'm thinking about Danny borrowing the diamond of calm. Somebody's linking me to a fur affinity. First, I've got to, I got to hide the screen because I don't know what I'm walking into. And then we will. Oh God. Of course. <laughs> Are you surprised that he had a fur affinity? I need to make sure this is kosher. I can't. I can't. Sh <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. All right, Danny Panda. Oh, you disgusting, naughty little fucker. All right. All right. Let's. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I, I think this is safe for work. Let me make sure. I'm just checking to make sure there's no deers eating dog shit or anything like that. Uh, just give me a minute. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, Tonka, I found something you're going to like. You're going to love this, buddy. Wrestle, wrestle. All right, here we go. This is uh, Danny Panda's uh, Fur Affinity account. Let's take a look. My fursona. It's a big picture. Just I want you to drink it in as we slowly scroll down. Look at those eyes. Those are the eyes of an overpowering panda that's going to put you on your knees and punish you. If you answered yes in the spin you round question, this is what awaits you. It's a giant fucking panda with a Triforce on his fist because, of course, oh, we're getting to the good bits. Censored. That's too hot for TV. Of course he wears underwear. What are you, disgusting? Let's uh, scroll down here. Let's see what we got. My fursona, Danny Panda by Kuma Baloo. Danny Panda, species giant panda. Occupation, pro wrestler. Wrestle, wrestle. Six foot four inches, 430 pounds. Black and white, 24 years old. Signature move, panda power slam. Can I hug him, please? I love his Triforce. He must represent a lot of courage. No, this bear is off limits for hugging. Sorry. <laughs> no hugging my bear, bitch. Get back, you thirsty thought. This is a friendly bear. It's a forever friend bear. We don't do no hugging around here, you disgusting motherfucker. <laughs> do you want to... Should we delve into his thing? I've got to be really cautious. I don't want to... You know, the stream you guys are pretty nice. I don't want to fuck that up by showing things we shouldn't be showing. So, I'll try to do my best here. <laughs> oh, it's just so bad. <laughs> it looks so autistic. Okay. Uh, Kuma Blue. Are, are, okay, are we sure this is his account? It says Dan Baldwick. But he... Well, no, he didn't actually say his name. Maybe that is him. I mean, it's too... It's too coincidental. Age 32. Species, panda bear. Personal quote, try not, do or do not. There is no try. Music type genre, Zelda music. Who saw that coming? Favorite movie, Star Wars Episode Four. Favorite game, Legend of Zelda's Ma or Zelda uh, Majora's Mask. Favorite game platform, SNES. Music player of my choice, iPod Nano. Favorite animal, rhinos, grizzly bears, turtles. Favorite website, YouTube. Favorite food, pizza. Look at this abomination. Baloo, my all-time favorite, bulky bear. I love my bulky bear. My bulky bear, Baloo. Oh, look at that tum-tum. <laughs> Herbert Hyena. Now it's like this little britches. All you gotta do is wink. Love that belly. Oh, they like Baloo's big old girthy belly. There's another Baloo pick. Let's take a look. Dave Diablo Grizzstone. You could tell he's radical. Radical to the extreme because he's got a multicolored mohawk. Look at that big old gut. <laughs> Seven feet, 600 pounds. That's a Big bear. That is a big motherfucking bear. That's a girthy blue bear. Okay, this might be asking for... Oh, no, he's only got four in there. Okay. Thanks for the fave. Thank you so much for the fave. Thanks for the fave. Okay, just a lot of fave sharing. I think our friend here likes big, fat, dumb animals. Buffet destroyed. Burp. I'm so full I can barely contain myself. Neither can I, kid. Let's see, did he comment in here? I don't... Account removed. Okay. <laughs> Look at this shit. Somebody killing a pokey trainer. Thorn caught for it, sort of. Thorn used, um, belly ball. 
bald belly? You know what? I don't know. A fat wolf is sitting on top of the furret. Um, congratulations. Well now, seems like you were weak to fat type attacks. I'll have to use this version of Body Slam more often. Thorn, that's that's not how you catch a Pokemon. Then again, why am I complaining? This is probably the most effective way to catch Pokemon without damaging it. Though I doubt Lucario? Mine's his new master anyway. If anything, I think he wanted to be caught. Can you blame him? Oh, we we are going down the rabbit hole here. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, let me back this out. So, what are we what are we looking at so far? We've got uh fat autistic sonic loving um sped that's into furry porn, uh inflation porn. I'm guessing from the size of those bellies, fat porn and vor porn. Has a fur affinity account, runs his own web forum, has videos going back a decade. A uh, very Amy hates Amy, uh, hates Amy Rose, thinks she's a whore. Uh hates licorice and country music and is desperate, desperate to find a forever friend on the internet. I don't know, chat, can you be his forever friend? Maybe Adolf Hitler from chat earlier would want to be Danny's forever friend. I'm not sure. That's really up to you. All right. We left off yesterday having just, you know, I'm going to get this all lined up. Let me make sure I don't want to spoil anything. All right, get that's up. We left off yesterday with Daniel and the adventures of Sonic. Oh, we have a lot to look at today. All right. Let me just make sure. It's going to take me a second to load up everything. Our boy's been a busy boy. He's a busy little boy. All over the internet. And to track down accounts all over the fucking place. I'm going to have to... What do you know? There's a mature content filter on this DeviantArt. <laughs> I hope you motherfuckers like story time. Because this guy lives for it. Uh, yes, that. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm an adult enough to look at this amazing shit. Almost set up, guys. Uh, where else are we? Sonic Galaxy. There we are. Get the website loaded up. I wonder how many more members he's gotten. If you, I think yesterday he was at 33 members. He's at a whopping 86 today. 50 new members. I hope he's really satisfied with that. I don't know. Some of the chat posting on the website makes me think he might be a little upset by it, but we'll find out. We'll find out. Oh. Gotta find his fanfiction account where he goes over his character identities. We're almost set up. And I believe there was one more. Where, Where is it? Oh, there we go. Almost ready. He has so many websites. So many websites and things that this guy's done. Okay. And that should bring up his YouTube. And I think I think that will make us good to go. We got a lot to look at. Alright, I'll move this over here. Move that over there. That's all the new shit we haven't seen. We've got uh, there's there's a story, a tragedy here that we really need to go over. We're gonna hear about what happened with his best friend Kai. If you remember <laughs> I, I don't even know how to explain this. This is so bizarre, but he had some friends on his forum, and uh, apparently they got tired of him contacting them every other fucking day. So Daniel decided, uh, he, you know, he was upset about that, made a few videos talking about how just sad he was that uh, his forever friends, that's his term for people that can stand him, his forever friends didn't want to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations with him anymore. Let me just, uh, we'll, we'll just dive right in. Oh, wait, one more, one more, I almost forgot one. And then I hope you activists out there are ready, because I'm going to need your help with something. Our boy needs our help, okay? And I want to just signal boost it, because that's the proper thing to do. All right? when you notice somebody needs some help, you got to jump in there. you got to jump in there and be a bro, okay? So we're going to be jumping in and being a bro for him today. All right, here we go. There you are, chat. You're on the right side. I hope you're ready. So, you know, I mean, he talked about how sad it was his forum wasn't doing well. So let's jump into that first, because there's a petition on iPetitions. Your voice counts. It's very sad. He only got two signatures. I believe that's from him and his headmate. But I'm going to read it for you anyway. And if you want to sign that petition, be sure to jump in there and sign it for him. Daniel Moore, keep the Sonic Galaxy forums alive. Since the departure of Kenneth, Kenneth S. Patsfield, it has come to my attention that I will be needing more members for this Sonic Galaxy forum. As you can see, I am very lonely at this moment. 
So I need some more people. I'll need more admins, some mods, and a co-story co writer. For those of you who haven't signed this petition, please do so now. The future of Sonic, Mario, and other franchises depends on it. Guys, come on. The future depends on... Do you want to let Daniel Moore down, you heartless fucks? Keep the Sonic Galaxy forums alive at www.ipetitions.com backslash petition backslash keep the Sonic Galaxy forums alive. His goal is 50. He's got two signatures on there. He only needs 48 more. Now granted, this petition's been up for, I think, five years, but we can still hit that goal. You guys just need to chip in. We can do a good thing. A good thing like when we joined his forum to spread cheer and joy in his life. Now, well, it won't jump into this. This has been archived by somebody. It's still available, though. This is uh, Danny Genetic Bioweapon XX39. This is uh, his profile from July, or I'm sorry, from June 14th, 2011. And it talks about uh, it talks about his amazing writing. I mean, we want more background story on Danny the Panda and all the amazing characters he's created. And what better way to find it? Then on his fan fiction account. Hello everyone. My name is Daniel Paul Moore, and I come from Galesburg, Michigan. What I do enjoy doing in my spare time, you ask? The answer is simple. I enjoy playing video games, mostly the Sonic and Mario ones, watching videos on the internet, cooking food for my family, and of course, watching Japanese anime. Ever wondered what it would be like if you made a crossover of Sonic, Soul Calibur, and Mortal Kombat? If Mega Man meets Sonic and Mario? If you've made a character and if you want to use him or her in your stories, well, this is the website for you. Making stories, I have a ton of characters that I've made. If anyone can help me on my ideas of the stories I make, please feel free. I'm all ears. In the meantime, here are some of my characters. So by all means, allow me to tell you what they are. Get ready for the deep lore chat. Here we go. Danny the Panda. Biological creation of Professor Kelvin Ricudo as well as the adopted son of the Lancefield family. Always a creature who loves to run at 375 miles an hour. Danny has saved the universe from evil threats countless times. Armed with his bio-blood flowing through his veins, Danny always has one thing that he likes to do, and that is to save or to race with anyone who is as fast as he is. Masume Kimishima, the beautiful red-headed sister of Masuko, known for both or being both the biological mother of Jillian and the adopted mother of the white dragon, Tashi, Gendorix. She has been in love with Kai for years, though she was born a full-blooded human being, despite the fact that her mother and father are both humans. In the past, she and her brother were infected and turned into humanoid viruses by the evil crone, Musoko and Musimi. <laughs> Such, so much weeb shit. Musoko and Musimi became full-blooded humans again now that the virus in their bodies has been removed. Musoku Kimishima, a big fan of anime, video games, and manga. Musoko was born a full-blooded human being just like his sister, Musumi. He was infected by Crone and turned into a blue humanoid virus, only to become a full-fledged human being again after they were removed. It is shown that Musoko does not like Kai and Jillian one bit mostly because of her annoyance. If you remember, Kai was the co-founder of his uh, forums, getting a little bit of, uh, a little bit of uh, not only self-insertion with Danny the Panda into his stories, but we're also getting people around him that he knows getting inserted into his stories. It reminds me quite a bit. There, there are some remarkable parallels between Danny and Chris when it comes to the comic world that they've created. Now we've got Natsumi, Naminst, Na, Naminst, Natsumi Naminst, the sister of Kai Naminst, who Musume has been friends with for years. It's unknown whether or not she has feelings for Starkiller Galen Merrick, but she did accept the bird girl Feya into her family under the name Feya Naminst. Formerly a brood in the beginning, she became a full-blooded human like Musume, which means that she is able to unite with Musume to become Tipo, or with Musume and Miwa to become Trinity. We've got transformations. That's exciting. Kai Naminst, being the husband of Masume Kimisha, 
the son of the Windolf Naminst, and a brood of the Red Dragon Clan, as well as the sister of N Goddamn Natsume Naminst, Kai holds a friendly grudge against his longtime friend Danny the Panda. He not only wields the elements of light and darkness, but he also has the ability to transform into a dragon, much of to his blood heritage. His no his nobody is Riku? Not sure what a nobody is. I'm going to skip the last couple of characters because I'm wanting to eat a bullet at the moment, but let's read this last couple of paragraphs. For those of you who want to help out on my video game anime PC gaming crossovers, please, please feel free to visit the forum that I have made to drop in your ideas and suggestions. The link is fanfiction.net backslash myforums backslash Danny Genetic Bioweapons XX39. Don't forget to give me and my stories some support. Also, I am in desperate need of some new partners for my website, due to my last one, who is retired. They could sure use some tuning up and changes. Here's the link, and that's the Envision free link to Sonic Galaxy 3. I hope you've enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed the background on the stories. I, I Yes, I'm reading you, Chad. Again, Jim? Yeah, we're going to go over the fucking lore of this shit. If that's not what you're looking for, I don't know what to tell you. Danny the Panda is the hottest shit on the internet. Maybe tune in. Get hip with what the kids like. All right, legends are fucking eternal. And Danny told me this himself. <laughs> Welcome to his Deviant Art page. Did you know that we have a an uh, an artist, not just an author, an artist. Daniel Paul Moore doesn't just write shit; he draws it as well. And apparently, his fetish is crippled girls whose arms have been broken. Look at that. I'm not sure what character this is, but that's some sexy shit. Nothing like a woman who's fucking, uh, <laughs> whose calves are twice the size of her biceps. That just screams sexy time to me. The daughter of Musuki Kimisha and Soju's sister. She will appear at SG Heroic Legends. Oh boy. What a beautiful lady. There are a lot of beautiful ladies on his DeviantArt. And uh, he's been quite active. We, I thought he disappeared for a while, but he submits on DeviantArt almost every day. He's been doing it multiple times this last week. So our little Danny, he's not gone. He's still kicking. And I hope you're looking at this literature. There are a lot of fucking stories. In fact, we're going to be looking at just just an ass ton of stories today. Because when I was browsing through here and I, I was looking at what we had, you know, when we originally went in, we, we read one story, but then I noticed... Uh, there's other stories, other stories by Danny, crossover stories, modern side stories, reboot side stories. And there are even more story sections the farther you go down. So, uh, buckle the fuck up. We've got good shit ahead of us. Now, I don't know where you want to start, but we've got uh, so many good OC Donut Steel stories to go through. Colliding worlds or worlds together. Now, we've already met the characters of Danny the Panda Deadpool and Sonic, but there's a whole cast of characters in these two stories. Colliding Worlds, this takes place after the Frozen Storm story, and in between the first and second installments of Adventures of Danny the Panda storyline, or Worlds Together. This takes place after the Return of the Panda story, in the modern Sonic Galaxy storyline, and after the Lost Mine, and the Sonic Galaxy's reboot storyline. Our boy hasn't just been making YouTube videos for 10 years. Nor has he just been drawing horrendous art on DeviantArt for eight years. He has been making stories non-stop, 500 chapters worth, for the last decade. 500 fucking chapters of his adventures in the Sonic franchise. I'm telling you, the lore doesn't get deeper. Oh, it is. That's amazing. You are correct, chat. Let me see if I can find... We're going to watch a few of his videos, and then we're going to jump back into... Oh, I can get rid of that. We're going to jump back into his storylines. Well, let's see. I, I, I selected some of these earlier on. Deadpool's got something for you to watch, which sadly isn't really him talking. It's just kind of a montage. But hopefully, because it's previously viewed, I should be able to find it. There, there are a lot of videos to go through. I was just kind of picking and choosing. He also animated his storylines. I mean, check out that hot scene. That's Sonic making out with, I don't even know what that is. Some kind of hedgehog. Some kind of hedgehogs getting the deep loving. Oh, he also did a live stream. 15 minutes of him not knowing how to work his fucking microphone. We can take a quick look at that. 
I was watching this earlier. Do you like the sound of a refrigerator running at full fucking volume in the background? Or maybe that's a dishwasher or a laundry machine. I'm not 100% certain. Whatever it is, full fucking tilt, non-fucking stop. You can, you can hear him typing, which confuses me, because if you can hear him typing, then the microphone is picking up the noise that he's making, and yet he won't talk. Instead, he's using a WordPad document to create a conversation with people that don't actually exist. I don't know if you've noticed that. He's so insane that he does a live stream with no viewers watching and then creates characters to have conversations being talked about in a WordPress document. You can see you can see him right there in the chat. All right, can anybody hear me? Anyone there? All right, beginning everything, let's begin. Oh, I got two people watching me now. Who is it? No responses. Instead, we've got the WordPad document. And these are his characters from his stories that are talking to him. That's Misuko. We, we saw the stats on that. Kai, you should recognize his name. Jillian, I hear you. Does she ever quit? Having a whole conversation in the background. That is... I've You know, there's lonely fucks on the internet. And then there's Daniel Moore. When you host a live stream with no one watching and no one commenting and no one rating what you're doing, that you have to take your imaginary science fiction fanfic characters, open up a WordPad document, and create a fake chat of them talking to you, it might be time to, it might be time to consider taking that full dose of uh, lithium or Thorazine that the doctors have been prescribing. Okay, let's, let's continue on. I was really hoping he would have regaled us with some amazing stories, but sadly there, there was nothing to share. He didn't ever talk during that 15-minute segment. <laughs> and he uses... I, does anybody know what Phil Mora is? He has this watermark that appears on every fucking video for like six years straight. Every video he uploaded, it was always Phil Mora. It reminds me of like Hypercam, unregistered Hypercam. I don't know what it is. Editing software? Every, every single video this guy puts up, it's got that fucking thing slapped on the top of it. Oh, where's the one about the heartbreak with Kai? We need to find that. If you remember yesterday, we read a forum post, an exchange between him and his co-founder about getting messages. Oh, actually, I can find, I, I can find part of this. Hold on. Uh, and this was two years ago, and if you go and check up yesterday's stream, You'll find it. Hold on. Let me... Oh, look, this is his discussion page, by the way, of him just talking to himself and nobody else. It's it's very... Oh, here we go. Okay, something's truly wrong with my YouTube account. I've been trying to contact a friend of mine, but for some reason, I'm not getting any YouTube PM messages. If anyone can help me find an easier way for this, I'd be truly grateful. Thanks in advance. I think I'm doing my part for the most part. I need to get some rest now. Please excuse me. <laughs> and he doesn't... He hates Alpha Omega Sin. I guess he's a fucking Amy Rose lover. He's pure evil. If you see him, block him completely. Oh, there's an enemies list. I don't know if you've seen this yet, but on his forum, he's got a, uh, a designed enemies list for the people that he just finds to be atrocious. All right, let's... We'll go oldest to newest. I think that's the best way to do this. Uh, this is him talking about his characters. I'm, I'm starting to decipher what I'm watching with this shit. There's a Gamers Rise Up video. Uh, another character. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's him singing. We've seen that. Apparently he had to remove multiple singing videos because of copyrights. It almost uh, cost him his channel, surprisingly. I don't know if that's ever going to come back online or if that's lost to the, to the winds of change, but apparently there were quite a few singing videos that are never to be seen again. Lots of Let's Plays, too. I think it's just below this that we get into the Naruto cosplays and all the other stuff. Not feeling like myself right now. I think this is the one where he talks about his mind going crazy. Hello, YouTubers. Danny here. Look, um, you're probably wondering why I got blocked for some reason. All of a sudden, I... I don't feel like myself recently, no matter how many times I try. Ever since I sent Kenny a friend invitation to my channel, I've been ignored. 
yeah, this is one theme that I've noticed with him. And you'll notice when we start going through his forum posts, his stories, his comments on his stories and his videos. He, he is desperate for what he calls a forever friend. But for some reason, he can't find a forever friend. And everybody he messages won't message him back. So he'll send friend requests and messages to people. And then when they don't respond, he has a breakdown. And he puts up videos and posts talking about it. And apparently this Kenny guy he sent a few to never got a response. He just doesn't feel like himself at the moment. I didn't do anything wrong. It's just... I feel like I'm having a total breakdown. What am I supposed to do now? This is a turmoil for me. Then I'm afraid I'll, that I'll have to prepare a voting contest. So now... Now I have no choice but to like or favorite his videos. I'm sorry, everyone. At this point, all I can do are like and favorite his videos. Why won't you be my forever friend, Kenny? What did I... What did I do to you, Kenny? I just, I just want to be your friend. Oh, here's another one. This is depressing as fuck, too. Just a, <laughs> just a short message for you guys. Nothing else. Get a load of this shit. short so I don't feel like talking about anything right now. Hey YouTube friends, quick update. <laughs> he puts a stress sigh in there. <clears throat> hey guys, quick update. I don't feel like talking about anything right now. Alright, thanks for watching my video. That's about all. Nice 50 second update in case people were curious what's going on. I hope that we all learned our lesson today. Oh, maybe he's going to tell us where the hookers are buried. Hello, YouTubers. Danny here. Well, everyone, I hope we all learned our lesson here today. Losing a good friend is a pain that we all cannot bear. We're all humans here. Just remember one thing, though. There comes a time that we must end our painful past and move on to a better future. Don't worry, everyone. I'll still be here on YouTube, no matter what happens. I'll be your friend to the end, Kenny. You may not respond to my messages, but I'm going to be your friend anyway. I'm going to like and favorite everything, Kenny. You can't get rid of me. I'm there, Kenny. In your bushes. Outside your window. In the middle of the night. I'm your forever friend, Kenny. Why won't you be my forever friend? Danny the panda just wants to hug you, Kenny. Why don't you want to hug the beautiful panda? Why don't you want to be Danny's forever friend? Nothing, uh, nothing psychotic about this. Maybe he went off his meds for a day. Back to all the Mega Man Let's Plays. <laughs> what to expect? I can't remember what this one is. Hello, YouTubers. Danny here. You know, I've been getting a lot of YouTube cyber trolls yakking and yakking up my ass. You fucking cyber trolls yakking up his ass. Stop it. This is a bully free zone. We are the sweetie squad. We spread joy and mirth across the internet. Get out of his ass, cyber trolls. About shit and stuff. Well, I'm already getting sick of this, so... I'll make it a quick one on some things to expect in the future. First off, I was thinking about doing a playthrough of the upcoming Mario Party 9 game for the Wii as well as the Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 2 game for the X- I love that you can see his eyes reading the script. He just can't talk normally to a camera. He, everything you're hearing him say has been written down beforehand. And he won't look directly at you. You can see his eyes go right to left. Xbox Live in the 360. Well, guess what? That game that has Sonic and Tails in it, it's going to be fun. And you know how much I like Sonic games that have only Sonic and Tails. Also, here's a message to the Cyber Trolls who insult me too much. Any more of your negative criticism comments? 
and I will burn you alive! <laughs>
Rise up, chat. Gamer girl, go home. Since the 1990s. Oh, and one more thing. Do you have any idea on how much the Wii U costs? Around $300. Is it just me, or are the video game consoles getting more expensive? No matter. I'll just get it either this Christmas or 2013. Well, there you have it, folks. Until next time, this is Danny saying take care. Toodaloo, I'm going to hit you in the face with a blowtorch and bury you in my basement so you'll be my forever, my forever friend forever. I like this one. Six years ago, by the way, my 400th video, or is it? Leaving you with a little bit of doubt, you never know. We've seen the Time to strike us now. Keep the keep the forums alive, and of course my website is dead. <laughs> I just oh, this is like a fucking gold mine, unexplored potential. There's so many videos. There's so many stories, and I have a feeling he's got more fucking accounts than people even realize, under alternate names. And that's how I found his. Uh, his DeviantArt was looking up his email that he lists on his YouTube. The link to Legends Are Eternal. And what do you know? The same characters are there that are up on his Fur Affinity account. Just video after video. Decades worth of fucking content. Oh, this was a period in his time where things were doing a bit bad. Okay? Two years ago. Again, remember, two years ago is when Kai stopped talking to him. You people never listen. That's it. All this waiting and stuff is killing me. Everyone dislikes my videos. I've been scarred and wounded for life after hearing the truth. i become a deserted, unlikable man. I can't take this anymore. I'm out of here. Good day. Oh no, Danny. You need to stick around, buddy. <laughs> the video's got four dislikes. I'm leaving because everybody's mean to me. Four dislikes. You know what? There you go. Chin up, buddy. Chin up. By the way, I'm so out of here, you betrayed me. Betrayal. I've been betrayed. Kai, why won't you be my forever friend? Kenny, Kenny left me. Why did you leave me, Kai? I say good day to you. Comment or I'll go crazy. I'm sorry. I just feel uneasy after what happened this weekend. And for five reasons. One, I'm stuck on the second scene of the second part of Chapter 16 of Worlds Together. Two. I, I want you all to understand what we're looking at. All right. This is perfection. This is like Chris Chan, if Chris Chan hadn't been discovered. Everything about this guy's videos is a parody that's real. When Red Supre used to make fun of Let's Players, they talked about poor fucking image quality, terrible fucking avatars, terrible fucking sound quality, unregistered Hypercam 2. And he is every one of those things in hundreds of fucking videos nobody has watched. Wondershare Filmoria watermark on top of his horrendous fucking donut steel OC character, Panda, or Danny the Panda, or whatever the fuck this thing is. He's got, I don't, it sounds like he's running a power tool in the background. And his fucking video is titled, Comment or I Will Go Crazy. All this waiting for so many hours for a comment on YouTube is killing me. Three, I was at my dad's mom's today. Four, I have my real life sister's wedding to attend to this June. And five... I haven't heard back from my friend in New Hampshire yet. If only he just gave me an update on what happened. His friend from New Hampshire. Now, I'm not sure if that's Kenny or if that's Kai. We're still piecing together the mystery of who the heartbreak in New Hampshire was. But we'll get there. Like, or literally, you guys, just comment. Comment! Danny, you rock and rule. Psalmist brought me here. What's going on here, Danny? Did he get a nothing much? I'm <clears throat> I'm stuck with many things right now. I need to wait for my friend from New Hampshire to answer me. Comment. Is this enough? Following directions. Yes, close enough. Giga Schlee. Close enough. Thanks, Garrett J. 
Man, I wish my friend from New Hampshire would give me an update right now. I still need his help. Daniel Moore, what do you need help for? Oh, I don't know. I'm stuck on something right now, and I'm kind of waiting to hear word from him. Spencer Browning, how dare you, you semi-sentient sack of schleem. It will expose... I will... <laughs> I'll expose your lies to the world, Garrett J. The truth will be your reckoning. <laughs> you, There's a reckoning coming, Garrett. I'm going to drop the thunder on your fucking head. How dare you come to Daniel Moore's YouTube page and comment. Shit's coming, buddy. I'm bringing hell with me. Well, there's there's so many backstory. There's so much backstory and, you know, side characters to this. We're going to have a lot of fun with it. Oh, somebody's saying visit him. Okay, hold on. Did he do a fucking tour of his house? Because if he did a tour of his house... Uh... <laughs> Please tell me he did a tour of his house! Oh, don't cock tease me. What do we got here? I'm sorry. Okay, never mind. That was that was somebody just uh, putting up the video I was showing. Okay. I, I got really excited there for a minute. I got really, really excited for a moment. A little more Danny lore. Oh my God! Look at this, Danny XX 39s live stream fun time, live stream fun time. And no, that's not your your stream going mute. Let me make sure. Yeah, no, audio's kicking in. That's just him not saying anything. This is where I make some story ideas for my Sonic Galaxy forums website. Feel free to drop by. Anyone is welcome here. And apparently, maybe that was Kai or Kenny just said, fuck you, I don't care. Oh, this reminds me... This reminds me of kids that used to make, like, AMV videos back in 2007. And somebody would say, hey man, what do you use... <laughs> what do you use to edit with? Or somebody would say, hey, how do you download that? And they would put up videos. They would put up fucking videos that were instructional videos with WordPad documents open like this. And they'd have, like, Linkin Park playing in the background. And then they, they would type out what was happening. That's what we're looking at. Let's jump ahead a little bit. For those of you who are watching my channel, this is where I will be live streaming Sonic Galaxy stuff. Sonic Galaxy related stuff. Important to spell check that. Let's delete that. And <laughs> taking 20 minutes to write another sentence. The fifth chapter begins with Danny Lansfield, Neo Sonic, and the others. Designated area. Oh, here we go. He's back to doing this again. Oh my god, there's a chat replay. Oh, this is so fucking depressing. Are you seeing this? He's 23 minutes into his live stream. Here's all the shit that's been said on his chat replay. It's just him. Nobody else is saying anything. It's just comment after comment of him talking to no one. Holy fuck, that's sad. Oh, Danny. Oh, he just wants a forever friend. Why won't the internet be his forever friend? And then, of course, the most recent video from a month ago. No longer a Sonic fan. You know, I wonder if anybody's given him some inspirational... I love that music. Some inspirational words of wisdom. Friendship ended with Sonic. Mario is my friend now. Now, wait a minute. Danny, no. Danny, no! Air horns. It reminds me of one of my favorite country songs titled Amy is a Whore. It's too late now, Danny. Take the rope! I'm gonna say the N word on your channel. We was Sonic fans. Das right. I love Lacritz. Also, Tsunami is the best. Would you like to RP with me? Colon 3. Retards, rise up. I really don't understand what you have against Son Amy. Would you elaborate? No way. This is terrible. Miserable. Just miserable. Miserable. God hates you, and Sonic does too. Danny, no. Bing Bing Wachungus. Bing Bing Wahoo. He's getting quite a few comments, but I'm not seeing any responses from our boy. It's, uh, it's a little sad. I'll be honest with you. We've watched some Danny videos. We're going to take a look at his DeviantArt soon. But we've got stories to read. And I'm trying to figure out what do we want to read. 
you know, we're going to start with colliding worlds. And if you've noticed, there are no responses to any of these. Just no, no, not a single response. And they're like 40 views. I don't know who those views are coming from. But let's begin. Oh, boy. This is from Danny. This is Colliding Worlds, his uh, unique Do Not Steal storyline. This prologue of it. Number one. The Screw Attack logo appears on screen. Our favorite character, of course, makes a return. Here we go. Deadpool. This episode of Sonic Galaxy is brought to you in part by Screw Attack. Be sure to check me out in action by watching the Deadpool vs. Deathstroke Death Battle video. The camera fades in to show a view of the skies of Winidia. The sunlight is reflecting on the camera. Soon after, the camera pans down as it shows us a neighborhood in Winidia. Deadpool. Narrator. Okay, so where do we begin? Oh yeah, um, it's past New Year's Eve, and everything in this place you guys call Winidia seems normal. Okay, sure, there are teams of heroes and all, but pandas being kings? Yawn. Been there. Done that. So yeah, allow me to break it down for you. The screen freezes. Deadpool then pops up from the bottom of the screen. Deadpool. Hi. You know me, Wade Wilson, a.k.a. the Merc with the Mouth, the fourth wall breaker Canadian who drinks too much syrup, the guy who killed Deathstroke in a death battle on ScrewAttack.com. Even though Ben Singer and Chad James have nothing against me, you know who I am? Anyway, so many of you are dying to know who leads who. I'm just saying. Here, I'll show you the pictures. Looks around for them. Now, where in my spandex did I keep them? Short pause. Oh, here they are. Picks up photos of Danny, Kai, and Musume. Wait a minute. These are photographs. What the fuck? Short pause. Guess those will have to do. Well, since I'm here, I'm going to tell you about them. Starts off with a picture of Musame that he is showing to the viewers. Let's start with her. What do we know? Well, she's Masuko's sister, and they're both from Japan, home of giant, robo <laughs> giant robots, kaiju, video games, and Japanese anime. I heard that Nintendo is quite popular with the plumber, just as Sega is with a hedgehog. Anyway, on to her. She's the red-headed beauty who has two daughters. Well, one of them is a monster in disguise. I'm talking about a giant white dragon from outer space. One that can evolve into the next stage. Who would want to see a human being lay eggs? <laughs> Who would want to see a human being lay eggs anyway? That's just wrong, bro. Short pause. After throwing the picture of Masume behind him. Then there's this guy, Kai. Hey, that rhymed. Shows the picture of Kai Namaste to the viewers. He may look human, but if you look underneath his skin, eek! A dragling rips out from his body. Not really. Can it do something like that? Come on. Dragons don't exist in real life. This has to be some kind of a joke. I mean, why the hell would a human being marry a dragon? I have a thing for women too, you know. Doss is a picture of Kai behind him. Then, of course, there's this. Shows a picture of Danny Lancefield to the viewers. Panda. He who rules the world. Just look at him. Look at the black and white fur on his bod. Who would want to have that stuffed panda to take home with you? Short pause. Yeah, some people would think that. Deadpool clears his throat and tosses a picture of Danny Panda aside. Deadpool. So now that we're done with the explaining, just sit back and watch me throw chimichangas. Deadpool takes out some chimichangas and throws them at the camera, laughing maniacally until the camera shifts right to the scene with a view of the Lancefield's house. Deadpool. Hey. The camera shows us a view of Danny Lancefield in the Lancefield's house, where his wife, Ayami Lancefield, and his sons, Marcus and Zio, are. Sonic is with him. Marcus is holding the Tyrant Flame, while Zio is holding the Erupting Flame. Marcus. Whoa! Cool! I always wanted something that enhances my fire elemental powers. Ayami. Danny, are you sure that giving my son something sharp and dangerous will... Sonic interrupts Ayami. Relax, Ayami. My brother's got a sharp knack for delivering his sons and nephews late gifts. Danny, he's right, dear. After all, I wanted them to be just like their own dad. Zeo, the pink lady busted me up good a few months ago. Sonic, you don't have to worry about that, Zeo. As long as toxic Rose and her minions are trapped within the world of nothingness, everything is fine. Ayame, 
But what if one of my sons gets hurt? Sonic says. Nah, those two have been har <laughs> those two have been harnessing the powers of the fire elemental since you gave them birth. Zeo, you should have seen how awesome I was. I was a brave young man. Yame, until you get sent home into the infirmary room. Zeo, give me a break, mom. My dad gave that pink hedgehog payback. Sonic, um, I don't want to get confused, but there was another pinch. <laughs> There was another pink hedgehog that was her reboot? The camera freezes as it pauses. Deadpool. Yeah, you think that pink reboot you were talking about would be good Amy? She wouldn't hurt a fly unlike the other blue-crazed hedgehog Amy, who's been laying low in a blank white space with her friends for months. Unpause. This is, uh, this is something else. Let me tell you, chat. By the way, this is just the prologue. I just want to be clear on this. Just the prologue. And that's, look at the length we're dealing with. Why hasn't this been animated? <laughs> Why has this story not been animated? Let's jump ahead a little bit. See what happens near the end of the prologue. We'll, we'll continue with uh, Poison. Here we are. The Blood Wizard, the Cosmic Alien, the Traitorous Brood Outcast, and the Banished Dragon Knight. Even Cybrix. They all sucked. Too bad for them. Endymion. None of the villains in this world could defeat Danny Lansfield that roams here. Time and time again has Black Hell been thwarted by the other Danny Lansfield from Alternative Earth, along with his so-called brother. The blue hedgehog with blue arms and a brown scarf? Yeah, that one. I've heard that the panda has acquired the power of the four elements of nature through the elemental spirits. Hmm, you appear to know everything, Endymon. That I do, dear friend. That I do. Not only does the panda possess the power of his friends, but also the power of the seven chaos emeralds, the seven gems of the mystical power. Seder, voiced, played by Frank Welker, off-camera. Correct, Maze. Everyone turns to see him walk in. We must devise a plan for the destruction of both Earth and alternate Earth, such as the way of Black Hell. Lord Seder. Roxas the panda also seeks to destroy his brother. We cannot allow this. We need to find a way to destroy them as well. He has the dark elemental spirits as well as the spirit of Baron. I thought that Baron was defeated. No. Baron lives in him, as Asterus lives in Danny's body. So it appears to be. We'll eliminate the panda and his comrades from planet first. Erase them from existence. I like the sound of that. Don't you, Maze? We shall take your plan into consideration, my lord. With the modern panda and his friends out of the picture, phase one of our plan will be complete. Excellent, Maze. I can't wait to meet his friends. <laughs> I'll make every <laughs> I'll make every of his male friend bleed to death, because I can't stand these goody goody boy stereotypes. You sure have a hatred for men, poison. Of course I do. That's why I have the death kiss as my deadly weapon. I would advise against <laughs> I would advise saving that for later, Poison. Maze is correct again, Poison. We don't want our powers to be put to good er, good waste. It's time we make a grand entrance. Deadpool, the narrator, steps in. Pfft! What a cheapskate these guys are. It's not like you're expecting the great Deadpool to make his grand entrance here. Short pause. Well, would you look at the time? See you all in the first chapter of this side story. Things are about to get interesting. Uh, somebody saying, this is fucking insane. Well, again, this is a side story to his main story. This is 36 chapters long. It looks to be about 5 to 10 pages long, which is about the normal length of each fucking story he writes. So this is a novel that we have. This side story, this, this one fucking side story, what's it called again? Colliding Worlds. Colliding Worlds, 36 chapters, 10 pages a piece, even if it's five pages, so 150 to 300 pages for a side story involving his hedgehog children, their mastery of the elemental powers, as they fight, <laughs> as they fight Black Hell, evil uh, bioscientist. I mean, there's so many characters, P humans that fuck dragons, half-breed dragon children, Sonic the Hedgehog and other alternative Sonics, a panda man, so many characters that are fighting the good fight against Black Hell. 
and the misandrist poison who just wants to make men bleed with her poisonous kiss of death. I don't know why Kai and Kenny couldn't help him finish his novella. I don't know why they decided to, to stop him as he worked towards this grand project, this amazing piece of literature, one amongst many. I, it's just the crossover stories, worlds together. This one is uh, 40 chapters. I, I bet you it's the same fucking length. Let's take a look. Look at this. Oh, it's multiple posts, too. Tekken Force Soldiers. Oh, he brought in Tekken characters into this one. Sarah Bryant. Zayu. <laughs> They're all in. <laughs> he brought in Tekken characters. That's unique. Uh, Star Killers in here. Neo Sonic. Zero Tails. Then we got we got alternate Earth Danny the Pandas. And then normal Dannys. Toxic Rose and Death Bunny. I don't even know who Death Bunny is. And there's Death Deadpool's in every fucking story. He loves Deadpool. You have to have Deadpool in each and every goddamn story. <laughs> it's important. Oh my god. Good times. Good stuff. Uh, somebody saying, look at his DA, his DeviantArt. He is a group admin. Well, you know what? Let's let's venture over to the DA. Let me pull it up here. All right, give me one second. And we'll go we'll go venture into his uh, DeviantArt account and see what awaits us there. Here we are. So this is uh, Legends Are Eternal. This is his DeviantArt. And uh, he's been a Deviant for three years, it says. Lots of lots of pictures being put up and uh, story art and shit like that. As you can imagine, he's very into Sonic, so there's a lot of Sonic in the favorites. You know, where's this About Me section? Let's take a look at this. Legends Are Eternal, Daniel Paul Moore. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Legends Are Eternal's site, your source for video games, anime, and so on. Keep in mind that I'm going to be using these characters that Kenneth S. Patsfield and I usually use for our stories. However, they're only our stories. So none of this is fictional. Keep, wait, what? However, they're only stories, so none of this is fictional. They're only stories, so none of this is fictional. Keep that in mind. Okay. I also do artwork. Oh, and before you ask, no, you can't have these characters. Ever. I'm only hiring artists and co-writers who know how to draw these characters and add in parts for these stories that I make. that are only from the Sonic Galaxy uh, forums website. That includes characters from franchises such as Sonic, Mario, Final Fantasy, World of Warcraft, Soul Calibur, Dragon Age, and so on. Remember that. Oh, and one more thing. No pornography or swearing. Only swearing is allowed in stories. We're just trying to make this site more friendly. Failure to follow these rules will result in blocking. Anyway, enjoy your visit and have fun. Oh, and there's his co-writer. Who's his co-writer? Oh, I think this is Kenny. This is our boy from New Hampshire. Let's find out. Kenta Rosamon. Hey, uh, I'm Kenta Rosamon. Michael works here, too. I'm big on webcomics and like to draw when I'm not occupied watching anything or playing video games. I might be an artist for fun, but I've recently begun setting up to be a commission artist and hope to use the money for commissions to help people out. And uh, let's let's take a look at some of his artwork. <laughs> God, what is it with this guy in depression? Everybody around him is depressed. This is, uh, I guess this is his newest uh, blog post. This is his partner, Kentorisamon, from November 12th of last year. I'm so fucking slow, I'm sorry, dudes. Well, uh, that's one request out of a bajillion down. I promised so many people requests and haven't got back to them in years. Some of them aren't even active anymore. To those who happen to be reading this, sorry y'all gotta deal with my procrastinating ass, lol. Should have probably thought of that before trying to offer stuff to anyone who gave me a llama. Watch my profile in an effort to promote myself. Didn't really work anyways. Now, I don't know if it's the best idea to put up a introduction at the top of your page that says, hey, I'm going to do work for money. And then directly underneath that say, yeah, hey, sorry, guys. I know it's been years since you sent in your request, but I'm just not really up to doing it. Uh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> it's just, okay. Let's let okay. Let's look at his amazing artist. This is the guy that's going to be drawing the characters for us. 
Let's see if we recognize any Danny the Pandas. I'm not. I'm just looking for characters' names that pop out to me. Gigamax, lots of Gigamax. Uh, we got a clown here. TV face, Rover's flute. Uh, Zerion Ogres. I'm not sure what that is. Kelvin. Kelvin's very edgy. Kelvin is the AI that lives in Mona's computer brain. He was a virus at some point, but he got assimilated, and now he's Mona's consciousness. Ghost in the Shell. A woman with a computer brain, huh? Call me weird, but there's a lot of, um, potential in that. We've got some very original content on this. Oh, well, this one, it's not, this one isn't bad at all. Just two besties having a sleepover, one rage quitting a game, the other nodding off after eating a shitload of pizza. I tried a new way to draw I recently thought of. I might use it more often. Character's me. I wonder if that new way of drawing is called tracing. <laughs> Potentially might be. Well, sadly, I'm not seeing any of Danny the Panda's characters on this page. I'm, I'm looking, but I'm not seeing them. Then again, this guy has been waiting. He's got a backlog going fucking years. So it's understandable that we're not seeing any of the uh, Danny the Panda characters. Let's back it up. Oh, let's see. You said he's a um, he's an admin of a group, admin of one group. SG Stories. Let's let's take a look and see what this is. Four members founded a year ago. Oh, maybe we can find Kai, Den Dorato, Saiyan Scaris, and Travis the Dragon Double O. What do you want to bet Travis the Dragon's got some interesting things? <laughs> Deviant ID. Hello, my, fee er, my fellow DeviantArt people. My name is Travis the Dragon 00, and welcome to my DeviantArt page. I'm socially awkward dude who likes to draw, play video games, and animate and source filmmaker. I'm a nice guy when you get to know me. But I'm also nervous around people, so yeah. It's a very bland, very bland thing, but let's, let's take a look at his gallery, see what we've got. Noticing there's a little bit of shit going on with Spyro. I think Spyro's face in this picture about sums up what our boy here uh, Travis the Dragon is into. That look is basically saying, I'm not meant to be jacked off to, bro. I'm just a video game character. <laughs> oh, there's lots of furry shit going on here. Lots of stuff. Lots of stuff. I don't even Is this a mouse or a cat? I don't know what this is. No, do not use without my permission. I wanted to start making PNG renders. This is a MTC character, Melania, Melania Smith. <laughs> don't use without my... May I use her? For what? For her to duke it out with one of my characters against a horde of monsters made by Alakazaz, one of my major villains. Give credit if you do. Okay, I'll be sure to credit you. I made sure to use my characters with permission as well. Gotta make Kylon first, though. Alright, so we've got an idea of the people he's working with. Let's see what... In the well, we'll take a look here. Uh, yeah, I recognize these from his videos on YouTube. No, nothing here. This is all that's in this, the featured section. Let's see what we've got. Sonic uh, Galaxy Hero Legends Villains. Is this just a rundown of the people? Oh my god, look at this shit. Read a little bit here. Name, Ingram. Species, Jackal. Best friend, None. Enemies, Cyrus the Dragon Hog. Jesco Prower, the Foxhound. And Matthew the Cat Chidna. Element none. Weaknesses. When someone calls his father infinite weak. Ingram's greatest weakness is calling his dad a pussy. Voice actor. David Vincent. Family infinite. Father. Background. Ingram is the son of infinite who seeks vengeance for his father. Bearing a hatred for Neo, er, Neo Sonic and his son Cyrus. Ingram wields the phantom sword which requires the Phantom Ruby to increase its powers. We've got a breakdown of all his amazing Phantom Sword abilities. His normal abilities like virtual reality manipulation, spatial manipulation, enhanced agility and enhanced durability. <laughs> I just, I like that, I like that this dude's one weakness is, yeah, it's just telling him that his dad is a giant fucking pussy. Your, your dad's a weak little bitch, bro. Hey, Ingram. Your dad sucks cocks on the street corner. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. Cyrus the Hedge or <laughs> Hedgehog. Cyrus the Dragonhog told me he saw your dad getting a train pulled on him. 
in a restroom, uh, a fucking truck stop restroom. Shameful. I There's just, it's so much content. There's just so much. <laughs> First trailer, we I think we read that. Forever Red. This is uh, My Universe. Daniel's Biography. Oh, is this, oh, this is him. All right, let's take a look. This is, oh shit. Yeah, if you remember yesterday, remember that Deadpool was talking in one of his stories about how he looked like Master Chief with a cape? This is it. This is what he was talking about. This is uh, Danny the Panda in his full armor. Daniel's biography. Daniel Paul Moore in his 30s. Born January 16th. Occupation, Night Soldier. Creator of the Sonic Galaxy Forums. Gender male. Blood type B. Species, human. Best friend, Kenny. Home planet, Earth. Likes, video games such as Mario, Sonic, and so on. Anime, root beer, making stories, coming up with ideas, etc. Dislikes. The name Sasuke. Freelancers, Master Chief ripoffs that can easily scar people for life. Romantic things, which is why he's not a fan of it. Video games that are horrifying to look at. Licorice. People killing other people. Losers. Deadpool's annoying personality. Etc. <laughs> it's the fucking licorice again. This dude really hates licorice. I don't know what's up with that. Backstory. Daniel grew up with no family or friends on planet Earth. The people of the Normandy treated him like a real family, as he wanted to do something on his own when he was old enough. He discovered video games, anime, and various other things from his childhood days. Brought in by the Normandy in the mid-1980s, Daniel began, er, <clears throat> Daniel began to believe everything about the whole entire meaning of friendship and family undergoing the training of Major Max Ryder, who taught him everything that he knows about survival in space. He vowed to one day return to Earth, eliminate all the threats that have plagued his home planet. Daniel is known for protecting many people who are humans and aliens. As the scientists of the Normandy have constructed his first prototype suit, Danny dons the name of Night Soldier, as he would go to any planet to oppose any alien threat. He and Jack would then live a life of bringing evil to justice. <laughs> I think he switched things around. He and Jack would then live a life of bringing evil to justice. At 1995, Daniel's love for anime, video games, and various other things started to grow on him, as he had an affinity to use weaponry to be vigilant, even if it's guns, knives, or various others. He felt that he had a purpose in protecting planet Earth and outer space for reasons. He studied and learned the basics of his Night Soldier prototype suit. He became a master of it at age 16. Whoa. What? What? After succeeding in killing his own son, Daniel felt nothing but anger in him. After the loss of his best friend, whom he couldn't do anything to save, he wanted to end Jack's killer so that it will never happen again. He spent four months in the Normandy, training with a man named Kenny who had his lost beloved girlfriend who had lost his beloved girlfriend to cancer that she had been diagnosed with and then we've got the weapon and power breakdown and he's got a mech name Orin D with uh, various mech components oh and of course if you're curious his AI unit Jackus is voiced by Todd Habercorn because of course that's very important to know <laughs> oh God, it's a whole world. This dude made up a whole fucking world of shit. Murdering his own son. Fighting supervillains whose major weakness is calling their father's pussies. Women fucking dragons. <laughs> Deadpool for some reason. <laughs> That's great. Uh, Jim, check out his... What is this? Check out his fan fiction page. All right, let's... Uh... I think we already looked at this, though, but let me let me take a look in case it's something I missed. Uh, no, no, we read this. This was the backstory of his characters. Yeah, we read this at the beginning of the stream. Oh, yeah, I just... I, I, I really wanted to delve more into it. There's so many stories, and I... God, you know, I think it was... Um, you know, back in the day when Christian did his Sonichu comics, uh, somebody went to the trouble of getting a narrator to narrate them. And, like, organizing them, and it was really funny. They had annotations up. I think it was Vivitheg. Uh, I, I want to see that done with his Sonic Galaxy shit. Like, I, I want there to be 
an audiobook version of this shit. And I want to see these fucking characters. Because this is a world of lore that the internet deserves to see. I think this, our boy Danny, in his quest to find forever friends, he's been, you know, he's been left out to dry. The artists that he works with don't really do their commissions. People from New Hampshire won't return his phone calls. He's having breakdowns on YouTube, threatening to blow, <laughs> blow torch people's faces and shit. He's just, he needs, he needs help. He needs people to join that forum to give him some nice comments on his videos and to put a little effort in to flush out that world of fantasy and fiction that he has dedicated himself to for 10 entire years. If you're an artist and you've got an hour to kill, draw, draw one of his characters. I'd like to see the creation of those dragon-human hybrids. I'd love to know how that happens. Yes, chat, we will be Danny's forever friend. I think that is something that we all need to do. We need to be his forever friend. Somebody said chat found Kai. All right, let, give me a second. We're, we're exploring. Let's find out if we've, we've found Kai, if that's really Kai. All right, now how do you know that this is Kai before we dive into this? Let me, let me see. Maybe there's a discussion. Maybe Danny commented on his page. Anybody's been blocked? No, I'm not seeing that. Uh, let me go oldest. Uh, no, that's top comments. Where where am I going to find this? I, I don't see anything about Sonic Galaxy in here, though. I'm just, I'm exploring here for a second. If this is truly his forever friend, Kai. I mean, it is an old enough account that you would think it is. You know, I can look through channels and see if he's subbed to uh, Danny. That might be a good way to do it. Lots of hedgehog shit in here. Lots of anime in here. Ah, oh, might have to explore this one later. Why is anti-spam on for the chat? I don't know. I, I tried to set everything on so people could say whatever they want. I left troll chat enabled. Uh, I don't think there are any filters in place. I will I will take a look at it for the next stream. I'll give it my, my best endeavor. I'm just looking over this dude's channel. Darren Hades. Oh, why does it say my vlog, but it's not? And then it's just him playing San Andreas. It's really weird. Okay. I will explore that later. I don't want to jump the gun. And, you know, we think it's him. And then it's not him. God, Danny is really not very good at uh, concealing his identity. When you look at all his different accounts, he gives you his full name, the day he was born, where he lives, where he works. It says, I actually work at, what the fuck is Kalamazoo? Kalamazoo in Michigan. I work in Kalamazoo. Is it a museum? The Kalamazoo Valley Museum offers science, technology, and history exhibits. I just, I can't picture this really super autistic guy dressed as Naruto working in a museum. That's what it says on his, <laughs> that's what it says on his Newgrounds account. Okay, buddy. Oh, my God. Danny, Danny, Danny. What are you doing, buddy? So, people are saying Sonic Galaxy 3. Go take a look at it. Let's see what abomination has happened to our, our favorite website that Daniel created. Why do I have a feeling this is going to be a regrettable decision? Uh, we'll find out soon enough. Give me one second. I'll pull it up and show it to the chat here. Uh, let's see what's going on over there. <laughs> what did you guys do to this poor fucker's site? <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay, we can do this. <laughs> Danny, 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 what is going on? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Oh. Okay. 
All right, hold on. Let me pull this up on stream. Uh, where? <laughs> hold on. I just am trying to get it full screen for you guys. Oh, Danny. Danny's embraced his leadership role. Okay, you need to understand, gamers are rising the fuck up. So let's take a look. Uh, let me get chat opened up here too. And get everybody on here so we can all, all enjoy this. There we go. I don't know if you all remember what it used to look like, but it definitely looks different now. Got a few more members too, 106 members in total. Looks like Danny's decided to put a new, a new banner up. Gamers rise up. Gamers rise up. Got a bottom text on there. And we see our brave Naruto fan sitting in the middle. And then uh, I guess Danny has embraced it. Uh, Sweetie Squad, daily grooming sessions by Papa Jim and discussions about Mr. Medicar. I'm, I'm amazed. What uh, We've got a message here. Hello, Jim. You're a nigger. Danny got hacked. If you can call it that, his password was Sonic. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, better OPSEC, Danny. Maybe don't, you know, name your password Sonic when it's a Sonic-themed fucking website. Might be a good a good clue to go through. What's going on in the chat room, I wonder? The best kind of music? Oh, we're just we're having a chat in here. Amy Rose is the girl of the forum. Everybody loves her. Everybody loves that pink whore. <laughs> Danny. Oh, my boy. Danny highlight reels. Oh, I suppose this is where you post the best Dannys that you have. <laughs> is Danny aware of what's happened to his uh, to his forum? I don't know. It seems like new management has taken over. Amy Rose is now in charge. And I think Amy Rose is just going to approve every single new member. I can't, uh, you know, I can't say 100%, but I think that's what's going to happen. I think Amy Rose doesn't give a fuck. Amy Rose had enough of Danny talking shit, so she put her foot down. She said, okay, motherfucker, you want to call me a whore, do you? I'll show you what happens when you call Amy Rose a slut, buddy. Oh, oh, my boys. What, uh, what is going on over there? Danny. Danny rose the fuck up. Fought the oppression. We live in a society, Danny said, before rising the fuck up. I'm just having a celebration cig uh, cigarette here. Oh, banner suggestions. Oh, they've got a uh, banner suggestions just with the head, uh, the title nigger cock. Make the banner a picture of a big throbbing nigger cock. That is all. Thank you for your time. I guess the new management wants a big black dick for their banner on this website. Can't say that. <laughs> what? Okay, uh, you know I have to pull this back up. Sorry. Looks like some of the sub uh, subreddits have changed. Or subreddit, sub forums, whatever. Uh, Tonka Saw's victories. Tonka wrestle, wrestle, big for you guys. New thread for each victory. No entries. So we know this is legit. That's Tonka's victory uh, sub forum. No entries because, of course, he has no victories. Million dollar extreme. Culture of critique. Sonic the Hedgehog. It's a, this is going in a different direction, I, I feel, than it used to be. Not sure. Not sure what happened to Danny here. But uh, he has embraced it. He's just rolling with it. In fact, I think he fake hacked himself just to uh, just to be one of the boys. We liked his videos and signed that petition. He loves us now. Uh, <laughs> uh, who said that, by the way? Go take a look at this. Um, uh, yeah, uh, soon be soon. Brilliant suggestion. Thank you. Go check out Sonic Galaxy 3 Forum. You won't be disappointed. I was not disappointed, soon be soon. Uh, that was a... That was a very entertaining thing to watch. Oh, Danny. Danny just wants a forever friend. All right. You know, I highly suggest you all hang out at his forum and offer to be his forever friend because that's all he wants. He wants some he wants some companionship. I don't I don't begrudge him that. Kev and the guy from New Hampshire and I can't remember Kai, I think was the other one, all betrayed him. All, betray all, he, all he wanted was a forever friend. Why can't you be his forever friend? He just wants to have sleepovers with you and do, you know, do things, guy talk, all that fun shit. But you guys just wouldn't do it. Had to be mean to poor little Danny. Won't be his forever friend. It looks like our boy Danny. Our boy Danny is, uh, he's deleted his YouTube channel. Uh, some speculate he was 
super hacked, but the YouTube channel is now, it's gone, all the videos are gone, uh, which is a shame, because I genuinely enjoyed the videos, and I wanted to explore the lore of our Danny boy. Now, he still has his DeviantArt, so hopefully that goes unmolested, because I want to read all his amazing works of fiction, and if that disappears, then it's all gone, and there's no way to get it back. It's a very sad day in Sonicville. It's a very sad day. Christian Weston Chandler apparently has targeted our little boy, aided by the evil Tonka Saw, and uh, he's gone into hiding. He's in witness protection, trying to survive uh, the, the terrors that uh, lurk out there at the hands of these two nefarious individuals. CWC and Tonka Saw working in concert is a, it's a dynamic duo, uh, devious individuals that are making our boy or our poor Danny boy just very upset my forever friend is very upset I don't know how he's gonna make it through this uh, trying time but I think with prayer and vitamins he'll find a way he'll find a way to do it 